Have you ever felt stuck in your life, overwhelmed by the daily grind, yearning for more, but unsure how to break free from the status quo? You're not alone. We often find ourselves caught in the same routine, feeling unsatisfied and yearning for a greater sense of purpose. More than a century ago, German philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche proposed a concept that could inspire us to break through our self-imposed limitations and live a life true to our potential. This is the concept of the Ubermensch. The Ubermensch, often translated as Superman or Overman, is a concept that symbolizes the ultimate aspiration for humanity according to Nietzsche, a state of being where we can transcend our mundane existence and unleash our true potential. In this video, we will explore the Nietzschean concept of Ubermensch and, more importantly, why it's crucial that we strive to overcome ourselves to live a more fulfilling life. We'll delve into Nietzsche's philosophy, understand the essence of Ubermensch, and discuss practical ways this philosophy can guide you on your path of personal growth. So, if you're feeling stuck, overwhelmed, or simply longing for more in life, this video might be the sign you've been waiting for. Part 2 Nietzsche and the Ubermensch Friedrich Nietzsche, one of the most influential philosophers of the 19th century, is known for his provocative thoughts and radical ideas. One of his most enduring concepts is that of the Ubermensch. The term, often translated as Superman or Overman, is not about physical strength or heroism in a traditional sense. Instead, it represents a state of being where a person transcends their own limitations and the societal norms that hold them back. Nietzsche first introduced the Ubermensch in his 1883 work, Thus Spoke Zarathustra. For Nietzsche, the Ubermensch is a goal that humanity can set for itself. It is not about becoming a godlike figure, but about overcoming our own human nature and creating our own values that are independent of societal expectations and norms. It's about having the will to power not over others, but over oneself. But how can we connect this lofty philosophical concept to our everyday lives? How can we strive to become an Ubermensch in the midst of our daily grind? Let's delve deeper into the concept and find out how it can inspire us to become better versions of ourselves. Part 3. The Journey to Becoming an Ubermensch The path to becoming an Ubermensch is a journey of self-discovery and self-overcoming. It's not a simple, straightforward process, but a continuous quest that requires commitment, courage, and introspection. The first step is acknowledging our own weaknesses and limitations. Nietzsche believed that recognizing our flaws is crucial to personal growth. We all have areas in our lives that we need to improve. Maybe it's procrastination, impulsive behavior, or an inability to express our feelings. These limitations, while they seem daunting, are not permanent barriers but challenges to be overcome. The next step is to question societal norms and values. Nietzsche argued that much of what we accept as truths are merely societal constructs. Many people live their lives conforming to what society expects of them, following paths laid out by others. But to become an Ubermensch, we need to question these preconceived notions and form our own values and moral compass. The final and most significant step is to act. It's one thing to recognize our limitations and to question societal norms, but it's entirely different to take steps towards overcoming these challenges. Nietzsche's Ubermensch is not a passive observer of life, but an active participant. It's about putting in the effort, taking risks, and not being afraid to make mistakes. In essence, the journey to becoming an Ubermensch is about self-empowerment. It's about learning to be comfortable with discomfort, being honest with ourselves, and forging our own path in life. Part 4. Nietzsche's Ubermensch and Modern Society Nietzsche's Ubermensch may seem like an elusive ideal. We live in a world that often values conformity over individuality, immediate gratification over long-term goals, and comfort over personal growth. Many of us are tied down by societal expectations or entrapped in routines that don't truly fulfill us. But this doesn't mean that the Ubermensch is an unattainable concept. In fact, it's in these challenging circumstances that the Ubermensch truly shines through. Those who strive to overcome their own limitations, who challenge societal norms and are willing to go against the grain, are living embodiments of Nietzsche's Ubermensch. 
Famous figures like Elon Musk and Malala Yousafzai can be seen as modern examples of the Ubermensch. They faced significant challenges and defied societal norms to pursue their visions and contribute to humanity. Yet, becoming an Ubermensch doesn't mean you have to change the world on a global scale. It's about personal growth and self-overcoming. It's about challenging yourself each day, learning something new, pushing your boundaries, and striving to be the best version of yourself. As we navigate through our modern lives, Nietzsche's Ubermensch serves as a beacon of aspiration. It reminds us that we are capable of so much more than we often give ourselves credit for, and that no matter how overwhelming life may seem, there is always room for growth and self-improvement. Part 5. Striving to Overcome Yourself The snake which cannot cast its skin has to die, as well the minds which are prevented from changing their opinions. They cease to be mind. Nietzsche's words call upon us to overcome not just the external challenges we face, but also the internal ones, especially our attitudes and beliefs that have become shackles. This can be deeply uncomfortable and even frightening because it forces us to let go of familiar yet unproductive patterns and venture into the unknown. In practical terms, what does this mean? It could mean finally addressing a long-ignored character flaw or tackling a challenge you've always shied away from. It might involve stepping outside your comfort zone, even if it's initially uncomfortable. It might mean no longer blaming external circumstances for our situation, but instead taking responsibility for our own lives. It's about growth, and growth often comes with growing pains. And there's a crucial point to remember. Overcoming does not mean perfection. It does not mean becoming the best at everything or devoid of any faults. Rather, it's about becoming the best version of yourself. It's about recognizing your potential and actively working towards it, accepting that the path will not always be smooth. The aim is to strive continuously to better yourself, not in comparison with others, but in comparison with who you were yesterday. This is the path of the Ubermensch. Living in a constant state of self-improvement and evolution, this is the Nietzschean principle. This isn't easy, it's challenging, and it will require strength and dedication. But it offers a way to feel truly alive, in control of your own existence, and aligned with your unique potential. This, according to Nietzsche, is what it truly means to live as an Ubermensch. Part 6. The Ubermensch and You Now let's bring this all home. What does this mean for you, watching this video right now? The concept of the Ubermensch is not just a philosophical exercise, it has real practical implications for each and every one of us. Nietzsche's words resonate with the modern world, where many of us feel lost or overwhelmed, unclear of our direction, or stuck in a rut. By seeking to overcome ourselves, by striving for personal growth, and by refusing to be held back by outdated beliefs or fears, we are embodying the spirit of the Ubermensch. We are asserting control over our lives and embracing our potential. We are choosing to be architects of our future rather than mere victims of circumstance. It is crucial to understand, however, that the path of the Ubermensch is not a smooth one. It's not a one-time decision, but a lifelong commitment. It requires resilience, self-awareness, courage, and a willingness to confront uncomfortable truths about ourselves and the world around us. It involves seeing each challenge as an opportunity for growth and each failure as a lesson learned. But remember, the goal is not perfection, it's self-improvement. The Ubermensch doesn't strive to be perfect. They strive to be better. Better than they were yesterday, better than they are today. So, let's take Nietzsche's challenge seriously. Let's strive to overcome ourselves. Let's commit to constant self-improvement, to living life on our terms, and to becoming the best versions of ourselves possible. In short, let's strive to become our own version of the Ubermensch, Embrace the path of the Ubermensch. It won't be easy, but it will be worth it. Nietzsche once said, He who has a why to live can bear almost any how. So let's find our why and let's start living. Thank you for watching. Here's to your journey to overcoming yourself one day at a time. Until our next philosophical journey, take care and keep striving. Friedrich Nietzsche once said, Become who you are. Here's to becoming who you're meant to be. Until next time, stay wise and keep on striving.